Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. The pictures tell the story. Hampton Roads is socked by the first major winter storm to hit in years. It makes for a very snowy Saturday. Now the digging out begins for just about everyone in our area. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us at 6 and all day for our winter weather coverage. I'm Brandi Cummings. And I'm Stephanie Harris. The first full weekend of the new year will be one you'll remember for a long time, that's for sure. Oh yeah, already several schools have canceled classes for Monday and Tuesday. You'll see them along the bottom of your screen. Roads across the area are snow covered tonight and most neighborhoods are socked in. Crews have been out all day trying to clear the way, but the all day snow hasn't made it easy to keep up. We're watching power outages, thousands of people without power tonight. And let's take you out now live on the roads. 10 on your side, Jason Marks and photographer Greg Gadbury have been traveling around the area today and it has not been easy. We'll have more from them in just a bit. But we are going to start things off with the big question everyone wants to know now that the snow is moving out. Yeah, that question, well, how much did we get? We want to head over to the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center. Chief Meteorologist Don Slater and Meteorologist Ashley Baylor are assessing what old man winter left behind. So I know you guys have the answer. Yeah, but I mean, left a mess. That's, <laughs> no matter how much snow you got, it's it's still enough to shut things down. A massive cold mess, and yeah, we're going to be talking about some bitterly cold uh, temperatures as we go into tomorrow morning. So if you didn't like the snow, you probably won't like the cold either. <laughs> and, and that snow is going to stay around. I'm going to show you what's going on with that snowfall into the area right now. Here are the past six hours on Super Doppler 10 Live. In other words, back to noontime today on up to the present time, and there is the snow uh, moving on offshore. This is just ground clutter here but you can see again uh, the snow bands and bands of snow sometimes heavy snow moving on throughout the area and again moving just on out to sea just in the past hour so that's what's going on even for the eastern shore things have improved greatly here in the past hour or so I want to show you this picture this gives us an idea anyway where the heaviest snow fell now it did not fall into these areas into Virginia Beach on down into here there's a lot of sleet that uh, painted everything but this is basically where some of the heaviest snow fell from Sussex County on up through the Wakefield area, on through most of the peninsula and much of the eastern shore. That's where we have the snowfall amounts in the uh, 6 to 12 uh, inch range. Uh, there are pops here and there, especially, and you can see kind of some of these areas into Sussex County, into Surrey County. We had 12, 14 inches of snow and on up toward the Williamsburg area too. A lot, a lot of snow uh, throughout your part of the world. Now, uh, again, that snow is moving on off very, very nicely, but the thing that we're left with is a lot of wind, 20, 30 mile an hour winds, gusting at times 38 miles an hour is still into the area so it can create a little bit of a ground blizzard with the snow that exists throughout the area and temperatures are obviously cold too now here's what we're going to be covering next drip the faucets open the cabinets overnight you want to drip the outside faucets soon just because it's getting dark it is dark uh, you want to uh, so you don't want to mess around with it too much the temperatures are dropping snow on the roads it's going to get hard and icy we're going to talk more about what we've got ahead that'll be coming up in just a few minutes don thank you and now we go to the road as we check out video from earlier today on I-264 in Virginia Beach. It is a rough ride for sure, and that's why we're spread out across the area. This is the team on your side in the Weather Center and in the field, keeping you up to date since last night. Our team coverage begins at 6 in Virginia Beach. 10 on your side, Andy Fox is in Town Center with a look at conditions there. Andy? Yeah, Stephanie, this is Virginia Beach's busiest intersection. This is Independence at Virginia Beach Boulevard. Just moments ago, there was a car up on the sidewalk over there, ran off the road. This is the bottom line. Icy roads remain problems throughout the city. It is bitterly cold out here. Recorded snowfall in some areas reported at four to six inches. City plowing contractors ended at five and will resume again in the morning. Uh, VDOT contractors will work through the night. Everyone trying to keep these primary roads clear, clearing them throughout the storm as we saw on several occasions. We found some roof damage from heavy snow at the Virginia Beach SPCA. So you can still see this. I'm sorry, sorry. So you can still see the snow on the roof and the weight of the snow has collapsed the roof here in our retail cabana. It's where we sell all sorts of pet supplies and products and you can see some of it been damaged uh, by the collapsed roof. We've also got the animals here and staff have come in to help take care of them. You're the healthiest guy out here. Oh, it's nice to ski in Virginia Beach. 
up and down Dam Neck, down to London Bridge and back. It's a nice ride. Do you do a lot of cross-country skiing? Uh, whenever it snows in Virginia Beach, I do, so it's 2,000. <laughs> Other than that, I run half marathons around here, shamrock, rock and roll. <laughs> Have a lot of fun staying in shape and enjoying the seasons all around the year. Uh, that was very typical from what we saw today. A lot of people out enjoying the weather. Of course, if you're going out, please be careful. The bottom line is residential streets will not be plowed. And as Secretary of Transportation Aubrey Lane told us earlier in the day, that will likely mean no school for kids in Virginia Beach on Monday. That's what he said. Residential streets not plowed by the city. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. And I'm Liz Kilmer in Hampton off of West Mercury Boulevard where the snowfall has stopped, but a lot remains and not just that, but ice. We're going to tilt down and give you a look at this. You can see we're on Seldendale Drive and look at this. This is just rock solid ice. Now, this is why you want to stay off of those roads. Ice and a lot of snow fell here earlier. Parts of Hampton are reporting up to 11 inches of snow. You're looking now at video from this afternoon. Earlier, we saw several cars get stuck in deep snow. Hampton police have responded to 83 calls for disabled vehicles so far today and police say that's made it difficult for plows to get around and we want those plows to be able to carefully clear these roads so now that the snowfall has stopped we have some playing out here but you want to just make sure that you're safe we can count on VDOT and other crews to be hitting these roads now around the clock so stay off of them and let them get through reporting live in Hampton I'm Liz Kilmer 10 on your side I'm Joe Fisher live in Chesapeake tonight where we did not see uh, the highest of the snow totals just about four to five inches but it's that biting cold that has been the big story here all day a live look at North Battlefield Boulevard right now and you can see that only four or five inches fell but the roads are still covered in snow this is a sheet of ice now that is really causing trouble for drivers we can show you some video that we got a little bit ago earlier this afternoon cars slipping and sliding here along North Battlefield Boulevard we were on I-64 where it was a little bit more passable, but for the most part, these roads are still slushy. Pe uh, city officials asking you to stay off the road. All in all in Chesapeake, they've had about 30 cars disabled, but only about 10 accidents. We talked with some drivers earlier today. I mean, for walking, people that's out in the weather is pretty bad, but as far as driving, it's not too bad. You gotta make sure there's at least 20 feet so you don't slide into the next car. Right. Make sure when you are stopped, there is enough room in case the person behind you doesn't stop and hits you so you don't slide into the car in front of you. And here in Chesapeake, the Chesapeake Expressway, the tolls have been lifted off of that road. The Chesapeake Expressway has been declared an emergency route. But again, city officials are asking if you don't have to be on the road, simply do not. The temperatures are not going to come above freezing anytime soon. They're worried about these roads overnight, and we will be watching them as well. We're live in Chesapeake. I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side. Thank All you, right, Joe. Joe. You definitely saw some people going too fast for the conditions out there. Absolutely. You could tell by that video. And there is much more to tell you about in this extended edition of Wavy News 10 at 6. We have updates on the highways from VDOT as well as more live reports from the south side and the peninsula. We'll also check in on the drive around Hampton Roads with Jason Marks. And, of course, what's next for our forecast. It's all as we continue this Saturday night. We're back and tracking efforts to keep you safe on the roads. Yeah, VDOT says its crews are out in full force. So let's take a live look now outside with the wavy traffic jam cams. You can see the roads are still fairly covered, but people are passing through. If possible, the agency is still asking you to stay off the roads and let the crew do their job. We do see a lot of folks out there already, Stephanie. Uh, you know, the crews will be working 24-hour shifts until the interstates are clear. And meanwhile, in North Carolina, NCDOT says it has responded to at least 260 accidents today. Cities like Winston-Salem and Raleigh saw more than six inches of snow and sleet overnight. The wintry mix knocked out power to about 14,000 customers as well. Crews were trying to clear the snow at the airports, but the airlines canceled a lot of flights. Still ahead at six, more reports from around the area and a drive around Hampton Roads, so you don't have to. That and the forecast next. Well, things are beginning to slide out of here, but the winter weather isn't over yet. We're looking at a bitter blast for tonight. Team weather coverage for you in just a moment. 
But first, a shift in that heavy snow line, putting the peninsula under a lot of snow. And yeah, that includes Williamsburg. And 10 on your side is there. Our Matt Gregory has the latest on conditions there. Matt, how's it looking? Yeah, here we saw some of the heaviest snowfall throughout the area, especially up here on the peninsula a little bit further. We saw about 10 inches in some places, but as you can tell, uh, a lot of it has drifted. Or maybe you can't tell, but what happened was in some areas you see about 4 inches of snow, and in other areas you see about 10 inches or more. This is the road right here. You can still see some traffic going on it right now. You can see the asphalt, right? I mean, it looks like it's been plowed, and it has been. But the problem that's going to come into tonight, and I'm going to step onto the road because there's no other cars coming. The problem is a lot of this ice is going to melt and make it elite, and it's going to freeze then and make it very slick tonight. And that's why they're asking, especially the officials here in Williamsburg, to stay off the roadway. The other issue, the drifts I was talking about. Take a look over here. I've walked around too much to even really see complete depths, but it's deeper here than it is, say, over here. That's the wind pushing this light snow through the area and pushing it onto roads. So if you live near fields, please be cautious. And uh, like I said before, folks here in Williamsburg say to stay inside tonight. No need to drive if you don't have to. And that's what's happening here in Williamsburg. I'm Matt Gregory. Ten on your side. And I'm Deanna LeBlanc live in Portsmouth where the snow has all but stopped here tonight, but the wind is not giving up and the temperature has dropped. I'm really bundled up from head to toe, but my face is still very cold just being out here for a few minutes. Earlier today, we were around town taking a look at the roads just before the sun went down. City officials told me about 30 minutes ago they have gone back over the primary roads and those are 80% cleared. They say they're making headway on the secondary roads at about 40% of those are cleared. But you can see in this video, the sides streets like in Old Town are pristine, pristine in that no cars have driven on them. There's no footprints in them, just blanketed in snow. So hopefully people are heeding officials warnings that they gave all day to stay inside, not to venture out if you don't have to, because there is some very visible white ice on those plowed roads where tire tracks are packing down the snow and it's now starting to freeze over. And that is what officials are concerned about tonight. They want people to continue staying inside, even though the snow has let up. They're saying, please don't go out. Out. There have been no major incidents to report in terms of traffic issues, and they don't want that to start picking up in these nighttime hours because people think it's safe to go outside. So still continue to stay home if you can. Live in Portsmouth, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side. Deanna, thank you. Also on the roads and moving around tonight, yeah. ten on your sides, Jason Marks. I got a hit. Yeah, he and yes. photographer yeah, Greg Catberry. We can hear them it, talking uh, now. Like, uh... They've been out checking out conditions. Jason, tell us where you are and how's the drive going now? Yeah, guys, uh, we are right now on Hampton Boulevard just by ODU. Now, it's really a mixed bag tonight. Um, we have seen some very good areas and then some really terrible areas like this area right here. And it's really not the fault of road crews. This is a really a blessing that the snow has stopped. And the reason why is now that the snow has stopped, these crews can really get to work. I know that the crews have been working all day long, but what happens is they clear a spot and then it snows on top of it. And it's almost like they never did it to begin with. So now that the snow is done, these crews could really get to work. Now, just be careful. Obviously, if you go out there, there's a lot of this area. We, we know a lot of the snow is no longer on the streets, but what's left is that crumbly, icy material. And once these cars stop going on the streets for the night, uh, when we have less traffic out here, this is all going to refreeze overnight. And so if you're waking up tomorrow morning, this is all going to be sheets of ice, as you can imagine. Crews are going to go ahead and salt this down as much as they can, but there's only so much they can do with the temperatures the way they are. The salt won't work in these sort of temperatures, so we need the temperatures to rise a little bit. And that's the reason why you see a lot of the schools closing already Monday morning, because they can't get back into the neighborhoods because they don't have the equipment, and thus the school buses can't get back into the neighborhood. So, so really, if, if you're going out, be safe. The good news is we've seen a lot of cars on the road today, but the good news is everybody seems to be taking it easy. So if, if you are heading out, just take it easy tonight, guys. Back to you. All right, Jason, definitely some good advice there. And we do want to mention that our photographer, Greg Gadbury, is driving. Jason is not, so they are being safe. Absolutely. With uh, the camera mounted there. Absolutely. So they're being very absolutely. safe. Absolutely. One of the things we didn't see in those live shots is a lot of snow. We saw it a lot this afternoon, but we haven't really seen not it, coming, at least then, right. in those live shots. Not coming down anymore. Yeah. We're going to see more come down. We could see just a stray band of snow come on through the area. With the wind that we've got roaring on down the Chesapeake Bay, that could generate a stray bay effect snow shower during the next several hours. Uh, but not hugely likely.
Not and, of so. course, uh, Jason was talking about we need the temperatures to warm up. That's not happening. No, that's not going to happen at all. And we talked about schools going to remain closed on Monday morning. That's likely to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, obviously, consult your own school uh, system. It might open late, but, again, uh, it's going to stay frozen on Monday morning. I'm going to cover what's going on on Super Dot Pretend Live, and then, and then Ashley's going to have our forecast for you. Here's a look at what's going on. Super Dot Pretend Live over the past six hours. Take you to back, back to uh, 1221, noontime today. And that snow was coming down heavily. We saw a little bit of a break around uh, noon, 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And then we saw it really move back on into the area during the later afternoon hours. But now it's basically on out to sea very, very nicely. We see no Bay Effect snow showers going on for right now. But we could see some of that a little bit later on in the past hour. Again, the snow is ending in Virginia Beach, and we're pretty well done with it. Now, this was the last snowfall forecast uh, last night. Just to show you, uh, give you an idea what snowfall forecasts are in terms of how close they can be and how off they can be. Uh, you'll know right through here, we have that 8 to 12 inch uh, forecast for snow. Well, it ended up being from about here uh, at the north end of the south side, basically from northern Norfolk, and then on up toward Williamsburg. So it really, really was a little bit smaller area, and land north of Williamsburg a little bit, and then on up to the eastern shore, and that's where we did see those bursts of 13 to 15 uh, inches of snowfall uh, again through the air. So here's what we ended up with, 9 to 12 inches. We ended up with three, four, 13, 14 inches of snow in a couple of spots as well. You see 5 to 8, 3 to 5, and again, these are just rough estimates. Your uh, totals may differ just a little bit. And then it was really, really knocked down uh, by the fact that we had a lot, a lot of sleet earlier in the day, last night and earlier in the day, that held the uh, snowfall totals down. Snowstorm is winding down, and to show you more about how it is winding down and what's ahead, here's Ashley Baylor. And this is a pretty lengthy storm for us. I mean, last night we started to track uh, some initial batches of snow and even batches of rain into parts of northeast North Carolina. And now a tail end of this is moving out. You can actually faintly see now the clouds are starting to break apart just behind this uh, snow that is ending here. And let's take a look at our future track forecast. And as we start to go through the overnight hours, a lot of these clouds will break apart. So as that happens, temperatures will plummet. Temperatures are expected to drop into the teens overnight. Yes, it is going to stay windy, and so that'll keep temperatures up a little bit more as opposed to the winds being calm. But the problem there is that with temperatures in the teens, with that driving wind anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour, wind chills tomorrow will easily be in the single digits, if not close to zero in a few places, especially the farther inland. And notice that wind is really not going to back off tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will top out in the mid-20s, so pretty cold there. But when you factor in the wind, wind chills will be in the teens even going into tomorrow afternoon. And then not looking much better going into Monday. You can see we can easily start off uh, with temperatures in the teens and also in the single digits. Uh, here's a look at our tower cam time lapse here. And again, you can see the snow that was out there. It is now gone. Right now we're at 22 degrees in Newport News. It's 25 in Virginia Beach, 23 in Hampton, and 21 degrees in Williamsburg. Uh, as we take a look at your temperatures right now, again, we're in the 20s, set to go down into the teens overnight, and places farther inland will be in the single digits. So got to look out for those biting wind chills tomorrow. Tomorrow, temperatures return to the mid-40s Tuesday. And look at this, upper 50s and 60s going into the second half of the week. So a lot of melting expected there. Catch up on all of our updates at wavy.com. Ashley, Don, thank you. Much more ahead at 6, including what you're saying about the winter weather on social media. Your tweets and posts after the break. Unfortunately, we can't be everywhere, and that's where you have come in, in a big way. Yeah, plenty of you have been posting to our social media platforms pictures and video of the storm. Senior Size Laura Queso joining us now with what you're seeing. Laura? Oh, uh, we have got so many pictures in our arsenal now. Hundreds and hundreds of people have been tagging us on Facebook emailing us. We are so grateful too because in the end you're really helping us tell the weather story. So let's start out with this first picture. Can't stop these people. Just before the shot she was sliding down the street. This is from Chuck and you know why I put this up here? Because we have seen so many good Samaritans helping mail carriers who are just stuck out in the snow but trying to de deliver the mail to you. This is from the eastern shore. A lot of snow. I mean, a foot of snow. Can you believe it? Okay, check this out. This is the Lynn Haven Fishing Pier who posted this. 
They write, we went to check on Lynn Haven Fishing Pier just a little while ago. Here's what the 2017 snowstorm has left behind. So enjoy, and you know what? Many of us are. Okay, Tracy, speaking of enjoyment, this is a family who is making, uh, getting a lot of laughs from this, and we love that picture. Had to share this. We got so many pup pics, and we love them. This little gal, she is a Virginia Beach dog. I know that firsthand, but clearly loving the snow today. And I had to show you this, too. This is beautiful. Sharing a meal. This is in Smithfield. Isn't that sweet? Last one, last one, I promise. Ah, we're asking you to stay home, so just enjoy the fire. I mean, Larry says it best. Best to stay inside and keep warm. And remember, keep sending us pictures and video if it's safe to do so. Can't stress that enough. The email to use is reported at wavy.com or just tweet us or post to our Facebook. We'll have much more in the second half hour. Back to you. We absolutely will, Laura. Thank you. Another half hour of our snow coverage is next on Wavy News 10. We'll have another look at how things are going now that the snow is beginning to move out of town. And that and more as we continue. Stay with us. From the station on your side, you're watching Wavy News 10 at 6. Back now with a live look outside from Tower Camp 10. To say it's a winter wonderland is an understatement. A Saturday full of snow is leading to a big cleanup ahead, and already things for the next week are being called off. Welcome back to the special edition of Wavy News 10 at 6. I'm Brandi Cummings. And I'm Stephanie Harris. Let's bring you up to date on the headlines. States of emergency remain in effect for both Virginia and North Carolina tonight. Most roads are snow covered, and if you live in a neighborhood, getting out can be really tough. Several local school systems have canceled classes already and events for Monday and Tuesday. And thousands of people are waiting for the power company. An update on power outages in just a few minutes. We begin our coverage with the latest on where the snow is now. Chief Meteorologist Don Slater and Meteorologist Ashley Baylor in the Super Doppler 10 Weather Center to let us know. And we've been with you throughout the, uh, uh, really around the clock uh, between the four meteorologists. Mm -hmm. uh, Ashley was here before me today. <laughs> That's right. And I actually uh, did drive from home today. A lot of people stayed in nearby hotels. I actually did drive in. I'm a New Englander. We like the snow. So. Well, and and uh, the snow is bad enough, and it certainly has got, gotten bad enough uh, mm -hmm. for a lot of areas during the afternoon hours. And it's going to freeze over tonight. Here's a look at what's going on. It's moving on out to sea real, real nicely. Uh, so, again, we're not worried about any more snow coming out of the sky, but we've had enough. Now, this is a, a computer representation of the 24 hours of precipitation totals. Now, this area that you're seeing really south of here, on into here, there's a lot of sleet that was mixed in with it. So it looks like it's a lot of snow, but it's not. This is where the snow was, right on through this line, right about through here, on up into the peninsula, on up into the eastern shore, and that's where we saw the heaviest snow. It was basically anywhere between around 8 and 12 inches of snow. So it was a little bit farther northward uh, from the projections, uh, but certainly we did have the peninsula in the projections. Uh, but again, that's what we ended up with. Well, it's all moving on out to sea, and we're doing fine. Now, we've still got wind through the area. These are steady winds, 20, 28 miles an hour inland is not as much uh, as far as wind gusts 33 35 but a good thing is that they're out of the northwest kind of good and bad. Uh, they're out of the northwest, means more cold air can come in, uh, but uh, they're out of the northwest, so it's drier air, so the snow shuts off. So the snow's gone, at least it's not falling out of the sky anymore. Uh, snowy roads are going to get crunchy and really, really icy, and they're going to stay that way overnight. Temperatures drop to between 8 degrees well inland, around 20 degrees near the coastline. And so very, very cold. Drip the faucets tonight. Uh, roads are going to remain snowy and icy on through at least Monday morning. I think Monday afternoon might melt a little bit of ice, but I think it'll take it a Tuesday and Wednesday before it's going to be gone through the area. We'll show you what's ahead in our forecast. So it'll be coming up in just a few minutes. Now, the snow may have slowed down, but that doesn't mean it's a good idea to go out and see how things are on the roads. Ted on your side has been on the road for hours, and it's just not easy out there, as you can see in this live picture. Our meteorologists and reporters have been keeping you safe since last night and into the morning and evening. Let's start this half hour of coverage in Virginia Beach and Ted on your side's Andy Fox. Andy? Hey, listen, Virginia Beach has really been doing a great job keeping the primary roads cleared. Here's the problem. Overnight, it continues to be freezing out here. They're expecting a lot of ice, and they are expecting it to be coming down, and they are expecting a lot of problems out here. This is Patrick Rice. He is the only guy we've seen out here walking. Where have you been? Where are you going? 
Well, I just came from Pembroke Station, and I'm just, it's just way snowy and cold. I just, I just came a long walk. Uh, I checked Smoky Bones and even the mall, and they wouldn't even open. Well, so. we just, and we just told him three places that are open. Yeah, there are places, places that are I'm open. Surprise. Re really cold out here for yeah, you. Yeah, it's really freezing. Um, I got like four layers of clothing on, so. And you don't, probably don't have a car, right? No. So you have to take public transportation? Uh, no, I, no, HRT is not even working right now. Yeah. That's what I heard, so. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, Patrick Rice, thank you very much. The only guy we've seen out here walking, and and remember, when you're out, there are a lot of icy roads out there. Temperatures still remain in the freezing areas. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, tell on your side. And I'm Liz Kilmer in Hampton, where the snowfall has stopped, but a lot of snow remains. We had reports of up to 11 inches here in Hampton. And where we are now, I'd say there's at least about 7 inches. Now, where we are, this is West Mercury Boulevard and Selden Dale. People have been on the roads, but you don't want to be. You can see some blacktop on the main road there, but there is black ice. And if we move then down Selden Dale, a lot of this snow, this is not just snow coating the roads. This is ice here. A lot of businesses are closed. We know that school's already been canceled for Monday and Tuesday. You just want to stay in if you can. There have been a lot of disabled vehicles. We've seen uh, cars stuck in the snow a lot today. We've seen some good Samaritans helping out, and we know that police have been doing a lot to help them out, too. Police have responded to more than 80 reports, calls for disabled vehicles today, and police say that that's making it more difficult for these plows to go through. So stay off the roads because you're going to help these plows make it easier to clear these roads and get them safe so you can get back out here. In the meantime, though, stay inside. We're live in Hampton. I'm Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side. And I'm Joe Fisher, live in Chesapeake tonight, where it appears that snow has stopped. But this afternoon and into this evening, that wind has really picked up. More than 30 trucks have been on the road throughout Chesapeake to try to keep these roads as clear as possible. They've been doing a good job, but check it out. They say they just cannot avoid this. This is that ice that has formed on the sidewalk. You can hardly kick it up. And if we go over to the road, North Battlefield Boulevard is to the side of us here. That sheet of ice is right along it. We have seen Plows come through here, but they are not getting that under uh, that ice that is just on the road. They're worried about this overnight tonight, and they're worried about it again tomorrow because they say they're afraid it's not going to go anywhere. There's been dozens and dozens of disabled vehicles in Chesapeake, but you can see cars here along North Battlefield Boulevard uh, having a pretty easy time right now. City officials are just asking that you really take it slow as you come here. We're right by I-64. That is pretty clear for the most part. It is passable. And one note to pass along in Chesapeake, the toll has been lifted on the Chesapeake Expressway. That road has been declared an emergency route. But of course, you're asked to stay inside tonight. We're live in Chesapeake. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side. And a big thank you to our entire team of 10 on your side reporters out there in these conditions to bring you the story and help keep you safe. Thanks a lot, guys. Absolutely. And we do it so you don't have to. More to come in this next half hour of Waking News 10 at 6, including how the winter storm turned deadly in other states. You'll see the snow that others got in its path. Plus, more live reports on road conditions, what you need to know about things in Williamsburg and Portsmouth as we continue tonight.